Now, growing up, when I was a lot younger, I was a huge wrestling fan in the WWF and WCW heavy. My favorite, all-time favorite, was The Undertaker. Whenever he would come out, whoever he would wrestle, I would always be cheering for him and rooting for him. But then, when he would be out for a long period of time due to injury or injury, uh, then I would be like, oh, man. He's out. He's not going to be at my favorite event, whether it's Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, Raw, whatever. He wasn't going to be there for a little minute. But then when he would come back, when you heard that gong, when you heard his music hit, when you heard them pyrotechnics and you saw all the smoke coming out, it was like, oh, let's go. He's back. And that's the same feeling now that it can be with Lamar Jackson. Since now he's been out for a period of time due to injury, but now he's expected to return tomorrow. So I know it's not gonna be all the music and it's not gonna be all the smoke and it's not gonna be all the pyrotechnics, but it's exciting knowing that the Ravens starting quarterback is eligible to return tomorrow. Now, of course, he does have to go through the COVID protocol and whatnot. He still has to test negative and whatnot in order to be clear to return. But it's nice knowing that <laughs> we are on the brink of Lamar being back. Now, hopefully, Hollywood and Miles Boykin, they can follow suit as well. And Sammy Watkins can return too uh, to Friday's practice and they can all be back together. That can be a beautiful thing. And I hope that's the case. But for Lamar Jackson to be returning, to, to just really reestablish himself with this Ravens offense, to really start getting that chemistry going with all of the guys, uh, whether Sammy's there or not, whether Hollywood's there or not, whether Boykin is there or not, but with his rapport with Rashad Bateman. That's big because we know Bateman uh, looks to have a significant role on this team. With him even getting stuff with Deion Kane, with Benjamin Victor, with Tylen Wallace. See, Nana, I ain't forget. But with, with everybody who is out there, it's important that Lamar start really building this chemistry up. Because preseason, it's going to be here next week. I know we got the Dallas and Steelers game tonight. And I, I know for me, like, just to be straight up, I'm probably going to watch about, mm, and I know we all miss football, but the Hall of Fame game, it's, it's not the same. It ain't no disrespect to anybody playing in it, but it's just not the same. I'll probably watch like five minutes. I'll probably get a little excited hearing the music and whatnot and, and just seeing football on a TV screen. And it's live, not watching an old YouTube video or old highlights or anything like that. But it'll be live, but I'll probably watch like five minutes of it and then get back to whatever I'm doing. But anyway... Next week is the Ravens preseason game. Now, I do not expect the starters to play in there, but especially being a Ravens fan, you get super excited being able to see a lot of the depth guys be out there on the field, be playing, and really, because we know a lot of these. We know, well, we know pretty much all these guys. We know who's on the team, and we just really want to see these guys on the field because we've heard so much in training camp we hear this and we hear that uh we heard all the excitement we heard some players maybe have not been looking so good but when you get to actually see them on the field for preseason it's a beautiful thing because that means that you're that much closer to the regular season and this time this year because last year we didn't get a preseason but this year We'll have a chance to evaluate guys a lot more, but more so the coaching staff will have a fair chance to evaluate guys a lot more. Now, with them adding a 17th game and them removing one of the preseason games, that has hurt and will hurt a lot of people. So that means during those three preseason games, you, whenever you get your shot, you are really going to have to give it your all. And that is sort of a, um, it's almost sort of a scary thing. Because, yeah, you got to make the most of your opportunities, but at the same time, you hope that guys won't be pressing. But you, you know what's going to happen with some guys anyway because they don't know when the next time they're going to get their shot. So they may feel like they got to press. Uh, but anyway, with Lamar Jackson returning, that uh, oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good, but he's not the only guy that's expected to be joining the Ravens again. Uh, well, actually, not even joining the Ravens again, but making his debut with the Ravens. Justin Houston, he is also expected to join the team between Friday and Saturday. So Justin Houston being out there, that'll make the competition that much better. That'll make everybody on that defense with the pass rush, the outside linebacker, D, that'll push everybody that much harder. 
Why? Because Justin Houston is going to be out there. So he's going to take away reps from some people. Now you got to split it up even more. Since you added number 48 there, and even though that's an ugly number, especially for a DN, I think he'll probably change it once the roster gets slimmed down. But anyway, Justin Houston being out there is going to be a beautiful thing because he makes the team that much better. He provides that veteran leadership. And like I said in yesterday's video, the Ravens right now, they these boys got a squad, man. They, they really got a squad, man. And they have such a good mix of youth, an injection of youth. But they also have a good veteran presence as well. They sure do. And I'm not one of those people, oh, man, wow. Well, when you think about that, doesn't it remind you of the 2012 Ravens? I'm not getting on all that because we said the same thing last year and then other people said the same thing in 2019. Oh, man, do you see the similarities between these 2012 Ravens? And, uh, uh. No, these are the 2021 Ravens. Hopefully it ends the same way that the season ends the same way that it did in the 2012, 2013 year. Hopefully it does. But I'm, I'm not here to compare the two. But I hope that they have the same result. We all do. But anyway, um, this is a beautiful thing. So be excited. Get excited. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, man, you shouldn't be that hyped over. No. Be hyped. Be excited. Be happy. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Lamar Jackson is going to be making his return very, very soon. Could be tomorrow. Could be Saturday. But it's going down. We out.